Hey, this is Mike. We just got a, another R10 car being in. I'm going to open it up and spare everybody the unwrapping because it's really packed really well. The gun was really mini. It's a .20 caliber. I have another R10 carbine, and um, it's a 177, so I'll probably list that down the road shortly. Um, but this one here, I'll get it unwrapped. Now, I got it with some Beeman uh, Silver Sting pellets, still with the label on them, and that's pretty cool. So there's four packs of those, and it looks like um, two of the packs have been opened, so I have two containers of the pellets original pellets and that yellow that nice yellow tin there so i'll be right back i'm going to unwrap all this there's a lot of bubble wrap here and then we'll get to the next clip to see what the rifle looks like and let's hope that it's not broken well we're getting there this guy's a lot of bubble tape here so just bear with me. I think I may be able to slide it out. Uh, I don't know if you caught it, but it was an eBay item. Well, at least it didn't arrive broken. The last time I had an R10, well, I shouldn't say the last time. One of the times I had a super mini R10 carbine and it was delivered to me broken this is um super super mini collector's grade it has a couple little one or two little scra minor scratches um the original owner too so i don't know if you caught that but i've got uh, some of these uh beam and silver stings and the tins and the yellow containers the 200 count um I was looking in the box. The box has all the original paperwork, uh, including an insurance policy for five years, I think is what I was reading. This gun looks basically like it's practically brand new, very well taken care of. Um, well, let's put it this way. It's 99%. There's a little rub mark here and there's a little something here, not, not, nothing much. Um, if I get some sun on this, we can actually see it, but um, it's, it's, these are just beautiful rifles. It's the .20 caliber. Uh, I think it's cocked because the barrel just went back. Oh boy. I better grab a pellet and um, put a pellet in it. So we're going to pause the camera while I take care of this. Hear that? That's the first time I got a gun that actually arrived where it was cocked. So it's good to check to see if it's loaded and pull that barrel back to see what happened. Kind of freaked me out at first because I thought maybe the spring was totally missing, but that wasn't the case. I stuck a pellet in it, went outside and shot it. Heard a little spring twang, but that's typical. So we'll go through the gun later. We'll make some custom spring guys and put a nice aftermarket spring in it um, this is definitely uh, one of my favorite rifles besides the basic R9 the R10 car being much lighter than your R10 Deluxe believe me I had the R10 Deluxe and the, the R10 Deluxe is basically um, considered the baby brother of the R1 um, where the R10 carbine they'll say basically is what the R9 sh uh, wants to be or should have been. Either way you slice it, the R10 carbine is an awesome, beautiful rifle. So it's very, very, very minty, um, like I said before. Now, it came with some Beeman patches, right? Those little round patches. I don't know if that's fairly modern or this is original from the back when it was bought i have some beaming uh quick cleaning pellets here that was put in the box and um a beaming rag silicone cloth so that was in the box and i have tons of paperwork i even have the original um test card for when they shot this rifle can you see that 
obviously it's a hole in one must have been a five shot group so that's in there as well I got all this paperwork I got more paperwork um, here's a thing you fill out I imagine there's so I saw some insurance papers in here and here's a pellets and pistons magazine uh, from Beeman um, it says extremely important do not cock and then it goes on to talk about whatever but apparently somebody didn't catch that <laughs> and this gun arrived cocked but that's okay it's no big deal we're gonna go through the gun and we're gonna tune it we're going to um, give it all the TLC um, I'm just trying to see this may be um, well I don't know I can't pronounce the name but it's William C mark M A R G Marg William C Marg so um, I think William passed on I'm not sure but I heard it was the dad's gun and somebody was selling it in the family and um, it's just a gorgeous gun it's really nice to have so I'm gonna be listing the uh, other R10 carbine that I have it's a 177 and um, I don't know maybe a week from now I'll get it together and I, I bought this because I had a point twenty at one time and I sold it to a uh, another air gunner who was really looking for one and I thought ah I could do without it but anyway I have a nice R10 carbine point twenty back so I see scooters back is he in the picture yeah scooter just loves to get involved with my boxes but anyway guys that's it um, I wish I had some Sun I don't know take my word for it it's just really nice everything about this is nice the stock is a nice beach it's a nice color it's it's that dark beach color it's a clean beach the gun is just minty so down the road I'll get some uh, some videos of this shooting this now these are guns that you would definitely say are keeper guns these things are not things you want to get rid of but I will be getting rid of the R10 carbine 177 so keep an eye out for that uh, probably a week I'll get it together and list it and somebody who's looking for an R10 carbine will have their chance of getting one anyway this is Mike saying thanks for hanging out I wish I could have some sunlight but just take my word for it um, the gun is beautiful it really doesn't even need a wipe down believe it or not and um, we'll see you next time around take care